Now, Chet Curtis, Natalie Jacobson, Dick Albert with weather, and Mike Lynch on sports. This is News Center 5 at 6. For people in Boston's Park Plaza area, this was not a perfect holiday weekend. Thousands of them were plunged into darkness last night after an electrical transformer blew out. Boston Edison says it could have been worse had it happened on a business day. The power company is frantically trying to get the area reconnected by tomorrow. New Center 5's Janet Wu has the story. It was a quiet Sunday evening until an explosion shook the ground, smoke filled the streets, and a little drama unfolded. Today, with the lights still out, there was a different kind of drama. Don't push me around. I was here before you came here. You don't push people around. All right, General, I'll take care of you. There were a few tense moments, and the 57 Park Plaza had to ship out a couple hundred guests to other hotels. But as Boston Edison shut down a couple of streets, dug a new trench, and laid down new cables, most visitors refused to let anything spoil their vacation. I got used to it. I just adjusted <laughs> to it quickly. And uh, what can you do? You know, just go with the flow. Like in China, you know, you have to get accustomed to lots of situations. <laughs> so if anything happens, there won't be any problem. Well, not everyone was taking it in stride. I don't like at all. <laughs> Uh, here. Hiro Matsushita tried to turn it into a camping experience for his family, remaining at the hotel with a flashlight and resorting to an early bedtime. Do you want to come back to Boston? <laughs> Across the street at the Four Seasons, where they were still recovering from an international discrimination scandal, the blackout was almost a minor disturbance. Two generators, 60% occupancy, and complimentary meals for all the guests kept it quiet. Thank goodness it's a holiday and, you know, there's not the corporate pressure to get somewhere. Today it's the tourist, tomorrow it's reality. The state transportation building will still be without power, as will most of the old Hancock building. Rush hour will be a major pain in the neck if you work anywhere near this area. Boston Edison hopes to have the power on by noon, but permanent repairs will take several days. In Boston, Janowoo, New Center 5.